Okay, um, I have a feeling that this video is going to end up being long just because that's kind of how I always end up. Um, I just wanted to go over a new product that I've been trying. Somebody was asking about horizontal carry and I found a really neat solution that was rather inexpensive. Um, I also found out that it's not really good for everything unlike a lot of the reviews. It doesn't really show the facts that I mean you might not want to risk um, your very expensive items with it if they tend to fall out. So what you have here, this is a 511 Ridgeline pant. This is what I wear every day because it doesn't have cargo pockets and it looks looks very nice. And this belt, this has been with me for about six months. I wear it every single day. This is the Wazoo cash belt. It has all kinds of wonderful goodies in it. Um, not like necessarily survival based. Um, I mean, I have kids, so hair ties, you know, band-aids, that kind of thing. Just I just have them access because I, I have this belt on. Um, but my solution for horizontal carry on this, I wanted to illustrate it, well, obviously, without it being on. So I would like to show, this is what's called the Ready Man belt sleeve. Now you can see it practically blends in. You can barely even see it. I actually have a second one on the other side here. Um, the way I set this up, is I have well let's see if I do I have them right now oh yeah they're under the they're under here of course so one of the two sleeves I put the Leatherman bit kit into see I gotta reorientate it so in this pocket I'm gonna go ahead and slide these in and these actually hold very well because there is a little bit of a catch on the bits they don't really go anywhere um, where I found an issue with them sliding out is when a backpack was involved. Now notice, even with those inside, you barely can tell they're even there. They really just blend right in, especially because they're black. One of the reasons to love black oxide tools even more. All right, and then on the other side, this is where I have been enjoying carrying a multi-tool. Now, the problem I found with this, uh, I wanted it to be the solution for the Victorinox um, Spirit because it, it does feel like it fits very nicely, but one of the nice features about the Spirit, which is that it's incredibly smooth, also makes it very easy to move in and out. And it wasn't an issue until I started wearing a backpack. The backpack somehow pushes just perfectly enough to push it forward. I actually, the one time I tried it for that day, I had this fall out twice, and in my opinion, that pretty much negates the ability for this to be able to be used with the spirit or similar tools that have nothing to catch on. In some cases the best solution is to use something like the signal which has a lot of well, hot spots if you will that all kind of catch. Not to mention this has a pocket clip in the proper direction. Let me show you how that works. This was the next one I tried and this one worked flawlessly with no issues. And what I liked about it is because of the way it's a tipped down pocket clip, you can still pull it out forward, you know, pulling it towards your front, but it actually sits incredibly nicely in there and putting it right on your belt versus in your in your pocket. And actually, I really like that. I probably would have loved to have the black oxide version just to kind of so it blends. I just kind of like that. But I think the biggest surprise for me was how well it fit the Leatherman Surge. Um, this is the most comfortable way I've found to carry the Surge by any by any margin. I know what I usually do is I stick it in the front like so. It slides in and I noticed it catches a little bit on that um, the T-Shank Exchanger. Not the end of the world, just don't rush it. It does take a little longer to get in than it does to come out. It's quite easy to remove it. You just push in with your finger. Now, unlike, you can't really tell, but this is significantly more difficult to push in than the spirit. I mean, not for a human being, but for an object to knock this out of your belt sheath, it's just not going to happen. And you can see, this is very, very low, low impact for what it is. This is a Leatherman Search, one of the biggest multi-tools out there. And it almost, not quite, but almost disappears when it's in the black oxide like this. And I, I can't be any happier with how well that's 
it's actually made this being an everyday carry something that's reasonable. I got my saw in there. Um, and I can't, can't be ha happier with that. I've, I've really, honestly, I've just fallen in love with these scissors. I, I just now, and now that I've used them a number of times every you know, on a day, a task that I probably couldn't have accomplished with a lot of the smaller scissors, I, it's hard to it's hard to not carry one of these now. The but the one tool that has been just an absolute monster for me um, every day has been the Leatherman Leap. I know it sounds crazy, but this is like a micro surge. It has the uh, a scissor. Now this one is from a different multi tool that I have slotted in, and it because it works incredibly well. It is definitely a small version of the surge. It cuts pretty much everything I've thrown at it so far. And I've made a little adjustments to get the slide in. I've also cut out a hole to to reveal the entirety of the blade to make a one-handed operation. But that was a little side. But why I wanted to say this is because of its thickness and because of all these bumps, even though it doesn't actually cause a cut in the fabric, it still catches very nicely. So it's very easy to slot this straight in. And unlike a lot of the other tools, there's nothing exposed. You completely disappears on this belt. You can't see it whatsoever. And it's very, very low key, very easy to find, very easy to retrieve. Okay? I just this is a really nice a really nice idea. I do think that it could be improved slightly, maybe, but mostly that involves the stitching. When I when I flip this inside out, it looked like it was a single stitch holding this together. Now, I'm sure it's with strong um, threads, but I, I, I do have some concerns that that might fray at some point, depending on, especially because I have the surge. And you can see, here's one issue. Uh, it came where it had a lot of these inner strands kind of loose. Instead of them using some sort of open heat source and making them clean, they didn't do that. That's something I found on the Anti-Gear products that I just love. They just do such a clean job. And then this is what I one thing I want to say. Just like the Spirit, would you trust a hundred dollar flashlight with this thing? No, not a chance. I would not risk a very expensive folding knife or a really expensive flashlight like this one is um, on using this sleeve. It is great for these large multi-tools, but for these small objects, definitely not. I would not recommend this for these items. Um, so that's just hopefully I'll give you an idea of what you can use this for. I, I really love how when I empty it, it just kind of blends in. It just becomes part of the belt, like nothing, like nothing is there. And that is really, really nice. So if you have a black belt like this, that's about this same thickness, you're, you're going to do a great job. Let's see, what did I say this thickness was? Just quickly. Was it uh, one, and a, one and a half inches? That's one and a half inches. So if you have a one and a half inch black belt, this is gonna blend in really nicely. Um, and it's one of those things, when you need it, it's, a, it's basically a pouch that you don't see. And if you don't need it, it's gone. It's pretty amazing, honestly. I'm fairly happy with that. I love how cheap it is. It's seven dollars. I mean, what's what's there more to say? I mean, could it be done a little better? Maybe. Definitely, some of the finishing could be a little more improved. But overall, I mean, it's a really good idea and something even you can make yourself. So definitely would recommend that. At seven dollars, it's probably easier to buy it than to make it. And um, yeah. Uh, I would definitely give it a shot. If you have a big multi-tool like the Surge, this is going to be a great way to carry it. It's very low profile, and um, I, I think you might actually really enjoy it. You might find that these tools begin to disappear weight-wise, and that, that's a big thing when you have a tool this heavy. So go ahead and give it a shot, and I hope this was helpful.